Hello everyone! Today we start talking about the outer clothes. To be more specific, about the coats. I'll tell you how to make a coat without the pattern. Have a look at this coat. It looks and fits amazing. I've got it by sight. I don't need a pattern to make such coat. First I wanted to find a way to change the technique to show you, but then I've decided to show you how I make it. I had to roll up the jumpsuit to show you the coat. Don't be surprised and don't think that I've taken it off. You can see that there are no tucks in it. It's pretty wide. I was lucky to buy such Ferragama fabric for a coat. This is a two-layer cashmere. Have a look at the pictures. You can see the same fabric in the items on Ferragama fashion show. It's absolutely the same. Now have a look at me. This coat is almost ready. There will be no facing or lining in it. No doubled collar. I'll show you how to cut such coat on a model in fabric. Ask any questions you have. The side seams will be processed in such way that I can wear the coat wrong side up. This is how the coat will look like when finished. From the wrong side and from the right side. The coat is just tacked for now. Neither the seams nor the edges were processed yet. I'll show you the coat when it's finished. Now I'll cut this coat on the modeling fabric. I'll also show you how to design a collar and the sleeves. I'm sure you'll manage to do it. If you buy such two-layer cashmere fabric, don't hesitate to make such coat. It's pretty hard to find such two-layer fabric in the shops. You should be able to divide it into layers. I'm not going to make the pockets. The coat looks expensive and the pockets will spoil the view, especially on the wrong side. We'll process all the edges and seams by hand. I could do it without the patterns at all, but I don't want to waste time trying to remember my measurements. So I'll use the back for my basic pattern. I don't need this tuck, so I'll cut the same piece off the shoulder. I also cut about 2 cm off the neckline. Remember that you shouldn't cut more than 1 cm here. You can cut more only after the fitting. Let's pin the pattern. This is the waistline. Now I'll tell you what you should pay your attention to. I really wanted to try to make such coats. First of all, I need the length of the item. 105 centimeters. I put this point 105 on the shoulder and mark the needed length. Now I'll draw the bottom. I put the ruler parallel to the edge of the table. This side of the fabric should also be parallel to the edge of the table. Now I'll tell you how to make a good pattern. First of all, you need to lower the shoulder. I'll make it about 5 cm lower. I add 5 cm to the existing line. This point should also be 3 cm lower and 1.5 cm wider. You can take the other measurements. I just show you the way I've made the coat. Do not forget that the fit and ease in my basic pattern is 3 cm. The seam will be not on the shoulder, but 5 cm lower.
I've already marked 5 centimeters. Not here, but here. This point now is 3 cm lower and 1.5 cm wider. Now I need to draw a new armhole. I connect these two points with a beautiful line. I'll make a coat about 2 cm narrower at the bottom. I connect these two points. I'll draw a straight line first and then draw a new one, making it a bit narrower. I want this line to be smooth. I want to change the silhouette just a bit. Once again, I've cut 2 cm off the neckline, added 5 cm on this side, made the armhole 3 cm lower and 1.5 cm wider. I've also made the coat 2 cm narrower down from this point. Let's start cutting. To connect these two points, just draw a beautiful line. I'll make it more round here. You'll understand what to do when you practice. Don't add too much here. I need to straighten the edge of the fabric. I'll be working with the front now. I add 2 cm for a balance on the shoulder. This is the upper point of the shoulder. I raise this side for 1 cm. This is a new shoulder. I want to deepen the neckline for about 10 cm. I'll place the first button about 30 cm down from the neck. I mark 30 cm on the fabric. The first button will be here, and up from it I'll draw a turn down collar. Make all the lines smooth. Don't draw a collar with a ruler, it won't look good. This is the edge and this is the center front. I'll have to make the item a bit shorter, because I don't have enough fabric on this layer. I can't do it, because I'm making an item on the modeling fabric. You should be very careful. I cut the side seam in accordance with the back. Do not forget to make a notch in the waistline. Notice that I use just one piece of paper, 
but it provides me with information about the waistline, center back, center front, and so on. This is the color. I'll tell you how to decide where to fold the label. Add 2 cm here and make a line from it to the first button. This is the needed line. I'll draw it now. I copy the armhole of the back. Now I'll deepen it a bit on the front, making it more round. It should be 1.5 cm deep on this part. I don't need this pattern, so I can throw it away. I'll tag some details first and then cut the sleeves. That's all for today. Next time I'll show you the stitching. The most interesting thing is that I'll show you how to make the sleeve on the basis of the armholes I've just made. Be different and beautiful. My name is Pauk Shterina. Subscribe to my channel and write the comments. Goodbye.